Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. So in this video we will be seeing how the Mobicool app for OpenCart will convert your OpenCart e-commerce store into an Android mobile app. So if you are running an OpenCart e-commerce store and you want to increase your sales by also selling your goods through the means of mobile apps then OpenCart Mobicool will do this for you. It will provide your customers with the maximum features that experience on the web. So now let's just see how this app will work for your customers and how it will make your store look. So this will be your default home page. You can customize it according to your needs. As you can see here are some products in the banner form. So if, if a customer wants to see any product, he just has to click on it and after that they will be redirected to the product page. So they can switch between the different products or between the different categories. You can provide the description for your banners also. You can customize this according to your need. After that you will be able to see featured products, then the latest products, then the browse by products. So this is the home page. After that, when you click on these bars, you can see here is the option for login or register. And after that, you will be able to see all the categories that are present in your store. So after that, you will be able to see there are two options for language and currency. If you click on it, as you can see, right now we have selected this. So the description of the products are in that language. So if you want to shift into another language, let's say your customer wants to see the app in English. So he just have to click on English and the app will be shifted into English. So now let's just see how this will change our products. So let's just click on it and you can see now the description is in English as you have change the language of our store. So if a customer wants to switch between multiple languages, he can do this by switching between different languages. So you can provide as many languages as you want in your store. Now there is another option for currency by which the customer can switch between different currencies for the ease of understanding. As you can see right now, the currency is dollar. So if a customer don't wants to see the price in dollars, so he can change according to your requirements and you can add as many currencies as you want. So now the currency has been changed. So now let's just quickly log in into the app and we'll see other features also. Let's just sign in into the demo app. So as you have signed in, you can see your account information right here. So now you can see you have signed in and you can see the name of the customer and the name and the email ID of that customer. So when you click on this small triangle bar, you will be able to see that the customer can switch between the store and his profile by just simply clicking on this triangle button. So when the customer clicks on home, he will be redirected to the home page of the app. And after that, my dashboard from here, the customer will be able to see all his account details, such as my account. He will be able to edit the account information, change his account password, modify his address book and his wish list. After that, he will be able to see all the details regarding his orders. And after that, he can subscribe or unsubscribe to the newsletters. So he just have to click on the option and he will be redirected to a new page where he can do the work. So after that, you will be able to see the option my orders. Here, you will be able to see all the orders that your customers have placed. And by clicking on the I button, they will be able to see all their order information. So this is the information tab bar for your customers in orders, 
All the orders that the customers have placed will be visible in the account formation. All the account formation will be visible. They can modify the account formation in the address book. Your customer will be able to modify their addresses. They can add new addresses or they can delete the previous addresses. In my downloadable products, your customers will be able to see the products that they have purchased that are downloadable and they can click on this down bar arrow to download the products. After that, they will be able to see newsletter subscription option. By here, they can select yes or no and they can click continue and they can subscribe or unsubscribe to the newsletter. So these are all the options that are present for the customer. And these are all the options that are present in your web store. So now let's just quickly see what are the other options. So here also you can switch. So here also you can see all the information and from here also you will be able to see the information. So when you click on my account, you will be able, you will be redirected to your account. When you click on edit account, you can edit your information from here. When you click on address book, you will be directed to adding or deleting new addresses. And then my orders, the customer will be able to see all the orders that they have placed. In my wish list, they will be able to see all the products that they have added in their wish list. They can even delete their products by just simply crossing the product and their product will get deleted. And in the newsletter subscription, they can easily subscribe or unsubscribe to the newsletters. And in my downloadable products, they can see the downloadable products and they can download it from there. So now just quickly go back to the home. So from here, there are three options that you can see on the home page. Firstly, there is the option which shows the magnifying bar so when you click on it you can search anything on the product if you type in here something then the product will be able to search let's say we want to search this canon so we can type canon and we can click on search so it will show you the results of the products that are there in a store so the customer can easily search through here and they can also search by their voice by clicking on this mic button after that, you will be able to see there is another option present here, which is this bell button. So what this does is, when you click on it, you will be able to see all the notifications that you have received on the app. So let's just say sale on mobile phones. So this is the notification that you have received. So when you click on it, you will be redirected to the sales page. So you can see your notifications from here. When you click on it, you either will be redirected to a product or you can redirect it to the product categories or you can see the list of products. So from here you can see and manage your notifications. After that, you will be able to see that there is an option for cart. So this is your shopping cart. And in here, you will be able to see all the products that you have added in your cart and you can easily check out from here. Now let's just quickly buy, see how the customer will buy some product. So let's say we want to buy this product. So when the customer opens the product, he can see various pictures of that product. If it has been added in the store, he can also zoom into the picture and zoom out by just pinching in and pinching out. So he can add the product in the wish list or remove it by just clicking on this. So when we click on this, we can see that we have added this product in our wish list. And from here, you can see that the product is in stock. And here you can see is a small triangle type button. What this will do, if you click on it, then the customer will be able to switch. Sorry, the customer will be able to share between their friends and family. So when the customer will click on this, the customer can share this product through any social media. After that, you can see that the, there is product description here, a small description, then the price and the text. And after that, there is an option for reviews and the write reviews. So from here, you can write the review for this product or you can 
see the review for this product so after that you will be able to see the custom option from here you have can select the color for this product let's say we want to buy the blue camera so these are the custom options that your customers can choose between only after selecting these options your customer will be able to proceed with the checkout so beneath it you can see the description for the product after that you can add features for your product you can add in this the custom attributes and after that you will be able to see all the reviews made on this product as you can see these are all the reviews that have been made on this product and from here you can change the quantity that you want for this product as say you want to buy two of this you can say two or you want to buy one you can write it as one and after that you can click add to cart and you can see a message that is has been added to cart and also here in the cart option you can see that the number has increased previously it was three and now it is four so now you can see that you have added your product here so now let's just say you don't want to buy all the other products so you can just click on it and you can delete by simply selecting the cross button and from cart also you can increase or decrease the quantity of the product so after that you can add more products by just clicking on add more products and you will be redirected to the shopping page like this and here you can see you will be able to see two options apply coupon code and apply voucher code so if your customers have any coupon codes or voucher code they can simply enter them here and click on apply and they will get a discount on the product after that they can proceed to checkout by just clicking on proceed to checkout so now here are the checkout options now for the account and billing details here the customer can select their billing address from the address book or they can add in their new address so they just have to click on it and they can select from the addresses that they have added and they can choose whether they want to use an existing address or they want to add a new address so when they click on add a new address they can fill in their new address so let's just continue with the previous address only and after that they can choose that they want the delivery to the same address or to a different address then after that they can click on continue after that they have to click on the delivery methods let's just say we want free shipping and just click on it after that the customer can choose what payment method they want and how they want to purchase the product how they want to pay for the product let's just say we want the cash on delivery and click on continue after that the customer will be able to see all the order information so they can review the order information here such as billing address shipping address shipping methods payment methods and the product information and their total and after that they can click on confirm total and after that they will be able to see a message that your order has been placed so the order has been placed now they can see their orders by just clicking on my orders and as you can see here and click on the little i button and you can see your recently placed order status so the order status is pending right now so this is how this open cart mobile app filter will work for your open cart e-commerce store and will convert your e-commerce store into a mobile android app so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day